Hey guys, this is Manshark Sub LPs. I'm Sub, this is Crusader Kings 2, and this is episode 180 of our Long Live the King series. We are, of course, Filkes Tigadar Ring, the insane immortal disfigured ruler of all Scandinavia. Pressed the wrong button there. And we're at war with the Grand Doge? No, the Grand Mayor of Pisa, because he's a Buddhist. Um, yeah, so we're just moving all those guys in together to go and crush him again. Um, we already beat the shit out of him last last episode. We do have a siege over here. That's kind of expected. What isn't expected? <coughs> Was that sneeze? Ah, oh, came out of nowhere. All right. Now we've got our actual armies who are, of course, lacking dudes again. Fucking ingrates. I believe we just finished a war with Mali. Yep, right there. Good war that one was. And this one up here. Yep, so this army needs this army needs dudes in it. So I'll put Gidger in charge there. The rest of them are off doing their own thing, which is annoying because it means that they'll just fucking Abandon them at a moment's notice. You know, we'll put Gidja in charge of that side, and him in charge of that side, and then her there. Which means that someone needs to be in charge of this one. Probably him. Yep, and then we'll work out what's going on with these ones when we get around to them. Do you guys have troops that you can raise? Probably not. Nope, there they are. That's all fine. Where are you going? Piombino? That's cool. Cool. And then go into Orbitello, that's fine. Castle Town was built in Enkoping. That is probably not how you'd pronounce that, but fuck it. Alright, this is good. Um. I'm not going to even give them a command, I'm just going to go park them on Pisa. And we're going to take it while these guys get in the boat. And then they can head around here and deal with that army if such a thing is required. Uh, do I still have truces with the... Yeah, so that's... That guy there, he's still got the Barony of Ruddick, which I'm not concerned about right now. And the other guy, which is the Knights Templar. Yeah, he's still got three... Yeah, Beaucourt, and two others. When did that truce expire? Probably in like 50? Yep. It's another period of time. The one of the Byzantines should be running out fairly shortly, though. That's October this year. Hmm. Yes, I wonder what we'll try and steal from them. Hello. Just saw some shit move. Still the same guy. What's this? Okay. 2.66. Alright, we need to take advantage of this. This will help. We do have troops raised though. It'll be like a holy war for Turkestan. Because that'll put me into um, contact with Kiva for when I need that in the future. Boys, move out. Seriously. Stay in the fucking army, you little shit. So he does that. No, it's retreat speed. That's fine. Get in there. Although we wouldn't really need it, would we? So Arsa would probably be best in that flank. Or in that centre. And I wouldn't have to worry about her either. So, all good. Looks like he's hired some dudes. Alright boys, let's just get in there and crush them. A numerical advantage should more than deal with whatever leadership thing they've got going for them. 
Oh yeah, easily. We're also all on incredibly low morale, so... Having just recently been raised up. Those boats. Yeah, okay. Good. It does please me. Okay, good little battle there. Um, we're just going to have our guys sit on that and take it. Many you know, of these guys can come over here and deal with that. I think I accidentally just moved a boat somewhere. Nope, good. Close. Get rid of that. God damn it. Okay, so basically with these guys, I want these guys to attack quickly. Oh. I finished my war study. I'm still apparently trying to kill this guy, so let's just... And I think he was some random Karna. Kargan guy. Um, we need 93. How much does this guy want? 26. Done. That should pop me over the uh, limits. Yep, cool. We're rushing this because until these troops go down, I can't really tell this like water end or to tell the next um, water start. Sorry. Looks like they're moving off up there as well, so I'm not terribly concerned about them. Um, hmm. I'll probably just send these guys around here just in case. Like into the sort of Byzantine area. Uh, we'll get them up there. That'll be fine. They'll like it up there. Good holiday destination. I literally have no idea. Um, okay, so that's going to take a bit of time. Charitable is good. I don't have a ticking war score or anything, do I? No. I don't particularly want to attack that fort. And I also don't particularly want to wait for that fort. So let's hire him in. Okay, that's going to like double the time. Or halve the time, whatever. <sighs> Still pretty annoying. Can't attack it for another 20 days. It's likely to not be a successful attack either. Got a plan. We're going to dock in here. These guys are going to go crush these guys. Or not, because they're going to get out of the way. Maybe. Good. But we're just going to march in there after them. I'm going to try and get away and they can't. We don't have anyone in the middle, but neither do they, so that's fine. Oh, apparently this guy told everybody that we were going to murder someone. We need a few more percent. He's 90, but it's worth it. Okay, we're at 80% there. That's very good. And we could actually attack into that as soon as we're ready. Because it's a town. 91%. Yeah, cool. Um, just keep at it, boys. So we'll have this one shortly as well. Yep, looks like their little wars ended, so that was short-lived. Do I still have a truce of Murom? Pretty sure I do. Yeah, for a while. The Byzantine one's about to expire, though, so that's sort of the important thing. I'm feeling like hitting him up for Elenia. Just because that would give me another kingdom.
But there's also the eastern stuff over here to worry about. How are his troops? 19. Hmm. And when's our next crusade? It's available. Well, well, well. I am... Um, sorry, not sorry to hear that. Training grounds in Viborg. Hmm. Shipyard it. Come on, just take the land. One of you. Ah, we're friends of my son. Patience is good. Okay, so that was this one over here. That's good, because now we're at, um... This fucker, I swear to God. We are at 97%. So one of these sieges is going to resolve. There we go. Oh, we've got a peasant revolt as well. In Kirkuk. Are you serious? These little fuckers? Alright. Well, I don't need these guys besieging this shit anymore, so... <sighs> Get on the boat. Hell of a walk. We're going to Baghdad for some reason. Nope, now they're stopping. Cool. Fucking peasants. Borgholm finished its house carl training ground, so we're gonna up its fortifications. Alright boys. Head on like this way. I think that's better. Can we get into Kukuk from uh, Samara? Yep, just Baghdad and Dia that you want to. Baghdad and Dia that you wish to avoid. And you know, we'll put our Asser in charge of this flank as well. I'm a werewolf. Because of course I am. There, there's our 100%. Alright, so. I think we imprison him for this. Yep. Done. Yep, too bad. So sad. We're just going to keep him in prison because now he's Norse. He shouldn't be too much of an issue. This army can fuck off. Now. He's actually in the defensive pact against me. Holy shit. Really, bro? You? We do have great holy wars available. Ooh, we've got one for Kiva as well. Oh man, that's nice. First of all, let's clear this threat bullshit right now. Yeah, I feel like I'm going to use my great holy war on the Byzantines. I just take like Anatolia off them. Because it's like, what, one, two, three, four, five, wait, hang on, where was it? It's all of that, so, damn it. Like, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven duchies. Whereas if you come over here, like, Kiva, Kiva is one, two, three, four duchies. Turkestan, it's like, three. Cumania is larger, but I already own most, like, a decent chunk of Cumania. It's, uh... Technically, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, but they only own four and a bit. Um, Persia would be alright, but I'm pretty sure they don't own all of Persia, so it doesn't matter. Yeah, so it'd be Cumania, Kiva, Persia, down here, Turkestan. Turkestan would be a great wedge. Uh, Ugir, which is like, why would I even want that land up there right now? Yeah, fuck it. It's going to be Byzantines. Nobody else is big enough or close enough. 
and for the Byzantines or the Byzantines it'll probably be that one we could do Armenia but oh, we I do actually have a land contact with Armenia but I think Anatolia makes more sense and these places are just too small to actually care about yeah it'd be one for Anatolia and how to get us all of this land here which is good land by the way very good land all right um well once we're done with a peasant revolt we'll get up on that um i feel like what i'll do is raise the italian armies and have them deal with like this stuff and this stuff here raise the main armies and have them come through here raise some more armies up here and uh, come f actually yeah you know what we'll move these guys down here real quick and once these guys are done with the peasants we'll have them move back and back up there and we'll use those as our force to actually deal with Anatolia itself with the war goal and then we'll raise armies to deal with like the north flank the north west flank and the Italian just a couple of provinces those probably don't matter too much anyway. Okay, these guys are now going to Baghdad. They're getting attacked. Hang on. They're getting attacked by the Baghdadian army. You know what? I think the Baghdad army has them, so I'm going to actually start heading back. Yeah, 100%. We won it. Amazing. I'm not picking an ambition. I know what that ambition is. Tornsfall has built a castle shipyard. Training grounds. Was Group's home done? No. It can have a militia training ground. Just looking at that, like I know Hedersunder and Castleholm are pretty sure they're done. Yeah, well, done ish. And Hatuna is still building its very last keep. I'm so proud that that's fucking, like, done, basically. Yep, cool. Okay, it just takes so long for these fuckers to move around down here. This place finished building castle. This place down here finished building castle walls so they can get more town. More money. And look at those income streams as well. That's pretty, pretty sweet. This place must be blocked due to war or something. Yeah. I don't know where that is. Is it the Mongols? You're not at war. These guys are. Oh, well, whatever. Can lads. Quick game's a good game and all that. When is the Christian thing happening? Two years. Shit. I can win a crusade in two years. Or one year, really. Fuck it, I can win a crusade in one year. Alright, and I'm going to get these guys up there. You guys are still coming along, so this is fine. I'm going to actually put Asa in charge of you guys now, so that you're a little faster. And... I guess we'll move these guys around properly to, like, there. And these guys will come down to there. Alright. And when they're finished with their move... Just hit my microphone, of course... When they're finished with their move, we will move in. You know, ooh, what are you guys doing? You at war with someone for that? No, you just split. Why? I mean, good on you, but weird. All right.
So that's where my guys are. That's where his main shit is. Right there. Where he's got fucking nothing. Alright, I'm going to pull my spies and shit back. Um, there, I guess. This guy can improve diplomatic relations with the Mongol. Why not? Yeah, plot power is fucking shit. Can I bribe anyone else? You look bribable. Great. Get in on that. Oh, now this guy thinks that one of my guys should serve him directly. Chief of Labus and Salazo. What are you chief of? Greater Poland? Um, press him with vague promises. Greater Poland and Kyavia. And you think one of my guys should serve you directly. Being this guy, the chief of Levis and Salazo. Well, there's Levis. The fuck is Salazar? All the way down there. Mm. I mean, you should have control of Lebus, but I would also give you control of Salazar, which isn't acceptable. It's the same situation with this guy, though. He's going to want control of... No? Okay. Well, that guy's already got control of too much shit, so fuck him. I, dipl I diplomacied my way out of it. Alright. You guys need somebody in the middle. Uh-oh. Looks like I'm being cucked again. As for the, like, Jerusalem part of things, I don't care. Not enough. So he's got two truces, which he probably doesn't give a shit about. Alright. Might as well hire someone. Alright, we're in position. Um, I guess the first thing I'm going to do... See, he left it already. Like, what sort of a prick is this? Like, Jesus Christ. There must be something I can do to stop them from just leaving where I have them assigned. What does this do? Fuck if I know. I mean, that's the commanders there. This is the guy, or oh, both of these guys are probably being shared. So wait, I've got two? Is that guy there, and then there was a guy on 19? Yeah, this guy here. Okay, cool. Well, you're in control then, Bjorn. Send him in there, send him in there. It's 11th, 15th. Alright. That's pretty cool. Um... Guess what, buddy? Da -da, da -da, da -da, da -da. It's a war. Good times. Right! 25. Well, let's deal with this shit up here first. I'm going to want two armies of roughly 20k each. And obviously I'm not going to want to be in them. That's dumb. That's got to be around 20k. That's 12. Alright, well. How about that? 18. Do I actually want 20k? Oh yeah. Yeah, I want 20k. 20k would be good. That's probably it. That is it. Beautiful. Uh, you guys are going to sum up here? Yeah, seems good. I'm going to pop myself out of that army so I don't 
remember to be there. All right, then we'll form one up from over here, which will be roughly that size again. A little bit easier with these guys. Yep, that's 23, that's fine. Sum up about there. Which army did it put me in? This one. Get out of that. Okay. Um, the Italian situation. Again, not exactly difficult to deal with. There's a little bit of um, disease down here, but I'm still going to want 20k. No particular reason why I selected 20k, it's just a nice round number. That's about fair. Get into Rome, get myself out of there. Now, can I get an army to come down here? These ones are going to be one, want to be about 10k and two 10k armies, maybe. This could be a bit of an ask. Not a lot of troops around here, unfortunately. Well, that's 4,000, so that's not bad. Yeah, we're starting to have a range pretty far afield. Okay, I think that'll be it. Yeah, it's 9,000, so that's good. Get them to sum up there, get myself out of that army. Um, maybe raise a few up from down here. Don't want to do too much raising from the front lines, because then they usually get shitty. Well, it's more of it than the... Um... Is that where they were going? Yep. It's more of it than the like, guys you're attacking can hit them up for easy credits. So that's a thousand in there. Add that to that, that's only three thousand. Okay, that's another 4,000, including that army there. Ah, there we go. Perfect. Just what I was looking for. Get in there. Right. Okay. Everybody move. Um, hi, more spies. Why not? Okay, we're into our besieging modes here. We're actually already at 68% here because of occupations in um, down here, which is kind of funny, these, these occupations here, because um, this army is going tremendously well. That's not part of Anatolia, is it? No, that's part of uh, Syria. <laughs> ah, good work, lads. So this could indeed be a very quick one. Um, this guy... Wants me to back his plot to fabricate a claim. No, fuck you. <laughs> Where's our religious guy? Whatever. Where is our religious guy? In Pronsk. That's still this one up here, I think. Yeah, and it's... It's Germanic! Okay, good news. We can move him. Where to... Well, I think I'd like to drive out this little bit of Catholicism that I see hanging around. So, why not get him to go there? Good stuff. Alright, how's the army gathering going? Yep, guess the child might be must be mine. Don't know why I ever doubted that. They do have an army down there, but it's a raider's army. That's fine. A uh, person accused of murder is dragged before your court. Um, oh yeah, this thing with the... Uh... Dude, we're just going to put him in the dungeons. We are just... Just lost a siege down here. That's alright, it wasn't one of our ones that we had in the first place. Why are we now at 71? Are we occupying more shit down here? You go, guys. You go. It's definitely not a war goals thing. War study finished. Let's get back to the war study. 
How's our economy going? Oh, our tech going anyway? Yeah, it's coming along. It's coming along. I don't know what I'm going to invest in next up. Oh, this army is complete, so let's get them all the way down here to start taking over land. And these guys are complete, so let's get them down to our Malfi just to fuck with them. Castle fortifications built in Borgholm. Got a lot of money, so we might as well buy the keep. These guys are going to take a while to all gather up, and that's honestly fine. Gather some of these guys up, like in interim sort of periods. Or steps. Steps is probably the best way to have said that. Actually, the best thing for us would be if the... Um, if we get to 100% war score with the... Um, what you calls it? Hmm, let's just wait for these guys. That'll be fine. It'll only be a month. We get to 100% war score with the Byzantines. And then the crusade happens against us. That would actually be the best. Yep, give him Gregarious. That's good. We got a siege up there. That's excellent. Because in that case, we will um, well, be in a position to exploit it, basically. We'll have all of our armies already raised. We won't have to worry about when our guys get there and all that sort of shit. Okay, this army is full. Let's move them in. I'm not bothering giving them commanders because these are just siege armies. Also, I don't think he's got the forces to really attack. Yeah, most of his armies are bigger than his entire troop allocation. And I can see 7,000 of them down here, which I'm just so not worried about. These ones are a little bit chancy up here, but that's only because... Oh, I don't need that extra 60 free troop. Just get there. Good. I just have them there for the hell of it, really. They don't really have much of a purpose. Yay, victory. I don't even know where he's moving these guys to. Surely he's got his reasons, but, you know. Whatever, buddy. They don't have leaders either, so... Oh. Just put a Duchess in control. Okay, we got a daughter. Cool. Another siege. So that was two sieges in this place. Yeah, because they've got the siege guy. These guys don't. These guys have Asa. Who is fine. She's actually really good at moving, so... Good on her. And the other sieges are just going to be decided by like weight of numbers. Or because we just got a peace offer. Now, just want to be careful here. Because he's still got this Syrian thing coming at him. Which, if that wins, would give us Syria. Because he's one of... Jal Haraka, the depraved, is one of our guys. Eh, you know what? I think we're cool. I think we're going to accept his peace offer, which is for us to win. Um, so... We'll do that next episode. In the meantime, though, I've been Sub. You've been yourselves. Later!